On today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV Basic Skills Day, I'm going to show you how to steam shrimp. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV Basic Skills Day. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today, we're going to learn how to steam shrimp. So let's get started. All about shrimp today, everyone loves it. A lot of people like to boil their shrimp. I don't like boiling. Boiling uses a lot of water, it washes the flavor away, and it's very easy to overcook the shrimp so they get rubbery and mealy. I prefer to steam it. It uses less liquid and it goes a lot faster and it really locks in that flavor. So let's talk about steaming. I have this contraption in front of me. This is a steamer. It's a big deep pot. And then it has this basket that has holes in it to allow the steam up. But let's say you don't have a fancy contraption like this. You can take any big pot like this you can use a colander that will fit in or a mesh strainer that will fit in so you can still put the lid on. That's the key. So I'm gonna use my steamer though. I don't need to use this. And if you're wondering where can I get such a little contraption, I'll leave a link for a really good one in the comment section. So let's talk about the steam itself. This is the time where we want to add flavor. You could use just plain old water. I like to flavor it up. I'm using here today, I have about a half a cup of water mixed with a half a cup of red wine vinegar. Some people will change the vinegar. They'll use apple cider vinegar or white vinegar. Sometimes they leave that out and use beer right in the pot. Now this only gives me an inch or a couple centimeters of water, you really don't need a lot for the steam. I'm gonna add a little more. To that, juice of half a lemon. I'm just gonna squeeze it in. And it doesn't matter if seeds get in because you're not gonna drink this water. And then I'm just gonna plop that in there too. It's just gonna to add to the flavor. Next, I like to use Old Bay seasoning. This is very popular on the East Coast. It's a seafood boil. You can use any other type of seafood or crab oil that you can get. This really only takes a couple tablespoons. I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it. Just dump some in. Just like that. All right, basket on. We want this to warm up too. Lid on. And let's get the heat cranked. There we go. Now while this is heating up, let's talk about shrimp. I buy my shrimp frozen. This is the kind that I get. It's already deveined, it's cleaned. It has the peel on it, but it's split so it's easy to take off. You can also get them without the shell. Now you notice it says 26 to 30. Maybe you've seen other numbers. That means how many shrimp per pound? This is 26 to 30, it's extra large. On the back, is this handy dandy chart that they have. And you see there's smaller sizes and then larger sizes. Normally I like the extra jumbo 16 to 20 pounds. They were out of them this time. So I got the extra large, which are just nice too. Here they are, all thawed. Now I took these out of the freezer. I put them in a colander all day long in the fridge and they thawed on their own, nice and gently. So I don't have to worry about them being frozen or spoiling sitting on the counter and the fridge do the work for me. All right, this is already coming up. My lid is getting steam, I can feel it. Let's check it. It's almost there. And that's the great thing about steaming. This water is gonna boil faster. And we're almost ready. Think we're ready. Oh yeah, that's great. And these are going to go right in, just like that. This is about a pound that I'm doing. It's only gonna take maybe four minutes. Just move them around a bit, get them kind of even, and the lid goes back on. But here is what is important. 
Do not leave this. Don't pick up your phone. Don't go on Facebook. Don't start scrolling. Leave it aside because the moment you look away, it's going to be overcooked like that. So stay right here. Now, how do we know when they're done? They're going to turn color. They're already turning color, I can see. And they're going to look firm. Now, I'll show you when we get there. But it only takes three, four, maybe five minutes at the most for this size. Larger shrimp may take a couple more minutes, but not much. Let's take a peek. Okay, these are almost ready. You see, they're starting to get some color. I'm going to move them around a little bit. It's only been like two minutes. It's been less than five minutes and my shrimp are ready. I'm going to kill the heat. Let me show you what I mean. They're very hot, but you see they are pink and opaque. Now you may see it may look a little translucent in the center or maybe down on the bottom. It may still look a little gray. That's okay. Why? Because of carryover cooking. I'm going to take these out, get them away from that steam, and just pour them in a bowl. And now these will sit and rest. And if there's anything that is just the least little bit undercooked, it will continue to cook here. So that's how you steam shrimp. Okay, if you like this episode, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and you'll get a new episode every single week. We'll see you on Tuesdays for our regular episodes and Fridays for basic skills and cocktails. Now, I'm going to go eat my shrimp and drink some wine, and I want you to watch some videos over here. Cheers.